everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope we're doing real good today. We're gonna to be combining two things that I love. The Sims and my absolute favorite podcast, New Game Plus. What we're gonna be doing is taking our three hosts, Dustin, Nolan, and Kenny, and putting them in a house and leaving it unpaused for a week in The Sims. And we're gonna see just how good the guys fare on their own. I'm not going to intervene in any way. I'm not going to um, help them in any way. So this should be really interesting and should be a ton of fun. And I hope that everyone really enjoys this video. Hopping into it and creating everybody, I tried to keep them as close to their own personalities as we know. Um, so Dustin is really smart, he loves books, and Nolan loves video games, and Kenny, Kenny's a wizard. He's uh, going full wizard in quarantine, so we had to maintain that in this game. And we've also never seen Kenny without a hat on, so we made sure to have hats for Kenny. Alrighty, so we're gonna get right into building the guys a house. So. Retrospectively, I probably would have made this build a single story house just because um, I wanted to be able to walk away from the game, but I find that with a two story house, you really can't do that. So I had to follow them around with the camera, but we made sure to have everything that the guys would need, including a fire alarm to get their house all comfortable and fun for them. Even adding a lake for Kenny because Kenny is all about that lake life. So we wanted to make sure that there was a lake for Kenny in the game. So yeah, all of the comforts of home are found here for them. We have lots of computers. We have three beds, two baths, flexing on my good roof skills. Look at that. It didn't even take me six hours. That's a first. Um, and we have one bedroom with two beds and one bedroom with one bed um, that we did have to shift around a little bit during gameplay, so you'll see that. I accidentally didn't put a door on, so that's not their fault. That's my fault. So getting them all ready and set up. I know that this is a really quick speed build, but I wanted to kind of show the process of building the house for the guys. And the last thing I did was add a barbecue because what's a lake house without a barbecue? Now we get into gameplay. We're starting on Sunday. It's like 8.07 in the morning. And I'm going to crack this up to three speed. So it's the fastest I can get the game. And we're going to let the guys just be on their own and see what they're going to do, see how well they can take care of themselves. For the most part, we're just going to let them go. And I'm going to do my best to follow them around the house. The first day is pretty, you know, goes pretty well. The guys spend most of the day just chatting and talking with each other, which probably would be what they would do in real life anyway, if they were all three at the lake house. Um, Nolan does come out here to make some food, but then he promptly leaves without even eating it. In the game, Nolan's a foodie, but then Kenny comes right in behind him and makes hot dogs. So one of the best things that I did though for this game was make Kenny have a lurking walk. The joke there is that in our Discord community, uh, Kenny doesn't spend a lot of time there and he lurks. So everywhere I have him go in this game, or not that I have him go anywhere, but wherever he goes in the game, he's lurk walking, which just is the absolute best feature. One of the things that we find is that the guys and food seem to be a, a reoccurrence, not that they need to eat it, but that really just seems to be the only thing that they do, that and playing video games. So I'm not really sure how accurate that is to them just as human beings, but there's a lot of footage here of them playing video games and then cooking. So while we have a uh, Nolan here, uh, and Dustin and Kenny getting up for, I believe, their second day. And more cooking. Uh, this is Dustin cooking a delicious breakfast. But then 
leaves it. And that's another thing that you see a lot is that they'll start cooking and then they won't finish it and then they'll go cook something else. So I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing there or why they're doing it. But while we're waiting for things to, to kick off and, and really start going, um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about New Game Plus. It's a really amazing podcast. Oh, this is where <laughs> Dustin almost dies on like the second day. Um, so for a fire count, we're at fire count one on the second day, and it's Dustin who set himself on fire. And we have some lovely uh, charred Dustin here hanging out with Nolan. So New Game Plus is an amazing podcast where these three guys take one old game and play it for seven days, and then they talk about it. They just cross their five-year anniversary mark, meaning that every week for five years, they've played a retro video game, and they've talked about it. And these games range from a lot of our old favorites and a lot of classic games, including Animal Crossing, and even recently Ocarina of Time. So... There's something definitely for everybody, and it's a great podcast, a great community to be a part of. So that's kind of why I'm doing this, is to share with our New Game Plus community. This is kind of like a, a late congratulations to the five years, for sure, and the, a huge thank you for all the laughs and all the fun over the years. So that's a little, that's a little bit about New Game Plus, and if you're watching this, check them out. I'm going to link a couple of the uh, episodes down below for you to check out. One of the things that I've found with the guys as the week kind of goes on is that they get unhappy and they get tense. And that's kind of a, a fun add-on to The Sims 4 is that when bad things happen, so for example, Dustin accidentally set himself on fire. So because of that, he's going to be tense and he's going to be a little unhappy. Another thing that I found out about making Nolan a foodie is that he has to eat good quality food in order to be happy. And that doesn't always happen, especially when you only have like maybe a one cooking skill. So Nolan spends a lot of the early parts of the game being kind of unhappy. Kenny, we've made a loner. And I think that early game, Kenny was thriving most of the time. He just seemed to enjoy his alone time, didn't really interact with Nolan or Dustin, and just kind of marched to his own drummer, which probably would be what would happen again in real life. One of the other things that I've noticed was that the guys didn't really clean a lot, and they left dishes all the time. And in fact, Dustin was, for the majority of the time, the one cleaning up after them. So gold stars to Dustin for trying to keep the house clean. One of the things that I thought was a little weird about how the three of these Sims interacted was that they literally only spent time mostly in the kitchen or up in the bedroom. And so they really just ate and played video games, which again, probably is really accurate to what they would do in real life. An early decision when I was building The Sims was uh, to make Kenny an actual magical person. Um, a joke within the community is that he's growing his beard out, he's going full wizard, and so I made him a magical sim, and I was kind of wondering if that would come into play here or not, and I don't really think it did, and there wasn't really many pop-ups talking about being a magical sim, so I'm not really sure how to be a magical sim, but making it so that Kenny lurked around the house was really awesome. So it was really funny to see him just kind of lurking around. And here's Nolan. Nolan does a lot of cooking on the stove, and uh, I don't understand why, he, you know, sometimes he'll make food. I think right here he's going to make... Oh, here, he comes back to it. So he makes this excellent quality breakfast, but then just walked away. So I'm not really sure why our, our friend Nolan here was just so sad, and then he went and got just like a sandwich out of the fridge. So 
very confusing and it seemed like the others didn't eat the excellent quality. I'm hovering over it because I'm very confused. And uh, Dustin's sitting there eating a whole bowl of peas. So again, <laughs> I'm very confused uh, about these guys and uh, their eating habits. And of course, they just leave everything on the counter and then go right back to gaming. Uh, and of course, Kenny is just lurking around. Nolan got really sad throughout the uh, time. I was really worried about Nolan, especially halfway through the week, um, because he always just seemed to be in a state of sadness. And we have Nolan, I believe he's enjoying a, a delicious bowl of peas at this point. Their rhythm got kind of erratic as the week went on, and that really seemed to kind of play into, I think, Nolan's sadness. I didn't give them a whole lot of other activities to do. I didn't give them any, like, musical instruments or anything like that. I just wanted to give them what I thought they would need, which is computers and a bed and some food, and that's pretty much all they did. Um, at this point, I noticed that the fridge became broken. From this point forward, the fridge is sparking and leaking water all over the kitchen floor. There is a possibility that they could electrocute themselves as well. So I was waiting for them to try to do that. Our, our chef here, Nolan, accidentally sets the whole kitchen on fire. And uh, Kenny and Dustin saved the day. I do, I do have a fire alarm there, but uh, that was a scary moment. We almost lost Nolan. And if it wasn't for Kenny and Dustin now, uh, we could have lost Nolan, uh, but we only lost the stove and one countertop. So now the stove is no longer working, the barbecue is no longer working, and the fridge is on the fritz. You know, the guys just aren't doing too well now towards the, the middle end of the week, and we're going to go until Sunday again. At this point, the fire count has been two. We've had two fires. One just started by Nolan, and one was started by Dustin. At this point, the upstairs sink now breaks. And so now we have water gushing from the refrigerator in the kitchen and water upstairs in the bathroom. And we have food piling up now uh, because you can still take food out of the broken refrigerator. And now that the stove is broken, there's nowhere to cook it. So now we have old cheese sandwiches now just sitting on the table. I feel really badly for them. I, I really want to you know intervene. I want to make things better for them. I want to fix the stoves, uh, but I can't. And here's another cheese sandwich that never will be. Sparks are flying. Water's flying. We have a leak upstairs, a leak downstairs. It's just a bad time now for, for Nolan, Kenny, and Dustin. So the guys started to uh, create salads for themselves. They make the best of it for sure, but they're definitely not happy. I think at this point on, Nolan's still covered in soot. I don't think he's taken a shower since the fire happened, and I think that was yesterday. Um, at this point, both computers break. Things are getting really out of hand. They're very unhappy. The week is going to be coming to an end here. Now are on puddle duty all the time, and it seems like that's the only thing they have to do now is mop puddles and be sad about their situation. And uh, they just are not happy. All of their stomachs are all upset because the poor quality of food Bless his heart, Dustin keeps trying to clean up the kitchen, clean up after everyone. There's stinky stuff everywhere. There's water everywhere. It's just spewing out of the fridge. Um, they no longer have their computers, and here we are. We made it to the end of the week. Uh, looking at the body count, we, we've, again, lost both computers, the sink upstairs. We've lost the functional parts of the kitchen, like the stove, the counter, and the fridge, and then we also lost the grill out here. So, uh, you know, luckily none of the guys died. If we were going to name a winner here, I would say it'd have to be Kenny. Uh, Kenny was there to help us put out two fires and really had the best attitude throughout the entire 
time. So congratulations, Kenny, you win. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up and check out New Game Plus. Bye. Thank you.